Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Colorado Rockies and the Detroit Tigers. First pitch coming your way next. So in now for Colorado, Gerald Raymond. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. And safe. It's a stolen base. I think that steal kind of sets the tone, not just for this game, but for the entire series. First inning, game one. So that kind of tells me they're going to be aggressive on offense and try to force the issue whenever they can. Sneaks through, base hit. The throw in, but it's offline. And it's 1 0. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Lou Wilson now at the plate. Two hits for him in yesterday's game. He's going, he's and there going, he goes. Going. It's a pitch out. Throw to second, he's safe. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Two and one now. Time. Right Raymond now, over go. at second, one down. That one ran Anderson. inside, almost got him. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Now a check on him at second, back safely. Here you go, let it go. The pitch and ball four to a board man that's a tough one to take on the full count but I guess he saw it really well it's a really nice plate appearance and here is Logan Barton Paniagua throws over Raymond dives back in safely The next offering misses, and it's two and one. One out, runners at first and second. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. And down on strikes he goes. Two out. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. So first and second with two outs. And here's the catcher, Martin Ramirez. The 2-1. On the ground right side. Throws the first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Rockies one and the Tigers nothing. Bottom of the first. And now the right fielder, Freddie Franco. Leading up for the Tigers, the right fielder, Freddie Franco. That's a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff dot. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Maybe a little out front of the pitch right there. Man at second here with two away. Next for Colorado, Gerald Raymond. 
And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, oh, no. and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. And a foul ball. Man, it's second. Lined, and that's a base hit. Navarro headed for the plate. He'll score easily, and they trail by one. Fires to second too late, and he's got a double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Lou Wilson digging in for the Rockies. Wilson, third in the NL in RBIs this year. Let's go now. One time. Raymond on its second with two down. Chopper right side. Feliz picks it up, gathers, and throws to first. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Tigers five and the Rockies four. Next to hit for the Rockies, Gerald Raymond. This guy with light tower power. Gerald Raymond. Oh, working ahead. All right, one time right here. That's hard hit in the line. Got it! Great leaping catch. Tags up from second, and he'll head to third. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your... Man at first, and next up for the Tigers, Kevin Rosales. He's already homered here in this one. Kicks and deals. Line drive, short hop to third. The throw, Raymond to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. Five innings complete. It's the Tigers seven and the Rockies four. Two outs, nobody on. Here's the shortstop at the play. Vladimir Vasquez. Vladimir. Ball to strike. Ground ball left side. And that is the inning. Three up, three down for Detroit. They hold a 7-4 lead. Gerald Raymond digging in for the Rockies. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Now a screamer into the outfield. And in one hops the wall. Throw comes in, runner stopped, second and third, nobody out. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Put a very nice swing on that pitch right there. Got one to drive and just kept it fair down that right field line and into the corner. And it's almost impossible to track those down as an outfielder. Next is the designated hitter, Lou Wilson. Next offering is in for a strike. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. The pitch. And another ball. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a... a this one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that one becomes property of the beast. His 21st of the year, and it ties it up. It's 
What an incredible momentum swing on that home run, Boog. I mean, it's late in the game, just barely stayed fair, and it ties up the ball game. Impressive. Gerald Raymond digging in for the Rockies. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Knocks it down. He decides to hold on to it, and they don't get the out. Looked to me like he kind of let the ball play him instead of playing the ball, and it just ate him off. The hands get stiff, and even the best infielders make these kinds of mistakes. Run around the goal, and it's ball four. He missed down low. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Logan Martin digging in for the Rockies. And a swing and a miss. That's out number three. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Eleventh inning set to get underway. Now the third baseman, Gerald Raymond. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Let it fly now. And a pitch. That one ripped. Go, 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 go. And it one hops the wall. Vasquez with a relay throw. Not in time. He's safe as they jump ahead and run scores. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Lou Wilson will hit next. The count two and one. That one to first. And he just beats him to the bag, gets the out. He wins the foot race there. The center fielder, number six. Logan Barton. Charles Payne will take over here. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Logan Barton getting ready to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. That one fouled off, two and two. Hey, clutch up right now. Here comes a pitch. And that one gets away at the plate. And an excellent job keeping it right there. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. The catcher, Martin Ramirez. So in now for Colorado, Martin Ramirez. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Nope. Okay. Next offering upstairs. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, one out. That's a base hit. Run scores. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. 
Well, I love the fact they didn't quit. They had to do a little extra work tonight to secure this win, but it's what you got to do over the course of a season if you want to be a championship ball club. A 12-8 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.